what's up youtube welcome to a video uh, in our previous video we talked about how we can uh, get the data from firebase into our html table now we want to sort the data or we can say order the data and also uh, we want to limit the data as well so we can do that by uh, firebase queries there are not a lot of query available for the real-time database but there are some queries which will help us uh, in sorting or uh, limiting our data so uh, first of all we have to define all the functions that are required for querying so these are those functions we can apply the query here so I'm gonna use the query function and the reference will go inside the query function the reference will also take the take the address from where the data will come and then we can specify the query so we can specify so we can specify limit to first and uh, let's say six and then we can replace replace this child with so short for query now let's try to run this so you can see that uh, there are 13 records but only the first six are showing we can say that limit to last so now only the last six record will show up now to use uh, these functions i need to use this order by child function as well so and inside this i can pass any of the fields so if i want to order my records uh, with the name of the student So this should match exactly with this. So I'm talking about this field. Now if I refresh this, I will get this error which is uh, index not defined. So I have to define an index. So for that I need to go to my Firebase rules and here I have to define an index so I can define it like students list that's the name of my folder then I have to define an object with a key of dot index on I will give the value as name of std publish the rules now if I refresh this you can see that the order is uh, the error is gone and uh, the names are now sorted in ascending order So now if we want uh, the descending order, uh, the Firebase does not provide any functions for that. So uh, we have to use the array that we got here. So this is the array where all of our uh, records will be stored. So we can use the array function of reverse to reverse all the records which are sorted. So in this way, we can get all the records in descending order. So refresh. So now all the records are in the descending order. So now I will comment this out. And come down here. To use the uh, rest of the function these rest of the function requires that I use this order by child function 
so I will now use start at so all of the records are ordered by section and now I am saying that start at B when I refresh this now the section A students get skipped because the section starts from B and I can also say that I can also say that equals to B so now only the section B students get selected and uh, this also works great on numbers so if I want to get uh, a specific roll number uh, uh, students of uh, uh, some specific roll numbers I can also do that for that I have to change this to roll number and this can say 90 and and at and at 400 now I also have to change this to roll number so now uh, I, I am getting only the students with the roll number from 90 to 400 but uh, there is one thing to uh, notice that inside my database all of my roll numbers are saved as numbers so this is necessary uh, if your roll numbers are in the form of string then it will cause serious problems so it is required that all of your roll numbers uh, should be in the full in the form of uh, numbers if you are applying any type of sort to it uh, and and that is possible through that I have shown in my previous videos here we are inserting the data but we are inserting the data in the form of string so insert the roll number in the form of number so now the data uh, will be saved in the form of number and you can apply apply these queries to that data so these were some queries that you can apply to manipulate your data a little you can also apply these uh, to this function so this uh, will remain the same you can just copy this and paste it here everything else will remain the same you can change this name if you want so you can get the real-time data as well so this is all for the video if you like it give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel see you next time